Good morning, good morning, good morning, beloved of God. This is Prophet West uh, coming to you uh, this morning, this um, this Monday morning uh, with uh, some encouraging words. And also, um, I would like to um, pray uh, for you on this day that God uh, bless you in this day where you go on your job or um, um, and whatever you have to do today uh, in this day, um, but also that you be a witness to God while you're out, uh, while you're at your work. Uh, the Bible says uh, it, for us to let our light so shine before the world that men might see our good works and that the Father which is in heaven might be glorified. It's so important. The Bible tells us that that we, we are the light on the hill which uh, cannot be hid. So it's very important for us to always let our light shine in this world because you never know who's watching you, especially if you're professing Christ as your Lord and Savior, because it's in your walk. The Bible says that uh, we are living epistles, uh, which means that the word of God has is seen. We're living epistles. I mean, that we're alive. The word is lively. Uh, the, the word is is in a movement. It is it's moving constantly, and it's moving through our life. And, and the and this word is also speaking, and it's speaking through our life by us being a witness to uh, of, of Christ to God uh, to people, uh, that they might see Jesus in our life, that they might see uh, something in our life that will cause them to uh, look at themselves and look at what they're doing in their life if they don't know Christ and align with you align with with christ through your life uh oftentimes when you um uh, as a matter of fact um there there are there's this one particular guy that i know every day i see him or every time i see him he's always his demeanor his temperament is always the same he's always nice he's always kind uh he's always friendly and he's always help, help, helpful he's consistent and w which means that it's always gratifying to to see him uh, it, the thing about it, uh, even if I was having a bad day, uh, but just to look at this brother, this brother who who's looking good and, and, and smiling and seems like he's on top of the world, it, it didn't encourage me. And so th it's so important to, to be this way. Consistency with anything in life, there's growth and consistency with kids, with our kids as parents. We have to teach them consistently. We have to, um, you know, um, when they do things wrong or when we, when we chastise them or we give them instructions, uh, the consistency is the, is the thing that causes them to grow their minds, to grow. Even my kids, the, there are things that I tell them every day. And, and first of all, when, the thing that I tell them when they get up in the morning, is first, the first thing is to make up your bed. The second thing is, is, to, is to brush your teeth, uh, put on your clothes, brush your teeth, um, uh, fix you something to eat, prepare yourself for your morning. And those things I do, and what it does, it gives them order. It makes them orderly. It gives them a system. It gives them a plan to uh, to to do every day. And and so the more they do it, after a while, it becomes second nature. It becomes instinctive. And what happens also, that's something natural as far as picking up and doing things every day a certain way and orderly. But what it also does, it helps shape their mind also in how they think, how they process life, how they view life. Um, and how they approach life with schoolwork, uh, whatever kind of activity that they do, what sports that they play. It teaches them um, um, consistency. You know, it, it teaches them order. It, it teaches them guidelines to uh, to go by. As I was talking the other day, I was even talking about rules and regulations. Uh, uh, they, they are very important in, in the scheme of thing of God um, because we can't be governed by our emotions. Our emotions will lead us. Uh, uh, down the wrong pathway. That's why we have to govern our emotions with the, 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 the foundational truths of the word. The Bible says that the heart is deceitful, desperately wicked, and above all, who can know it? The reason the Bible says that, uh, the reason the Bible says that because emotions, your heart can, you can fall in love with anything. You can gravitate uh, to anything. Uh, oftentimes, um, uh, you as a person who has a big heart, one of the dangers of having a big heart at times uh, you find yourself being loyal to a fault wherein you, you're so uh, captivated or you're so uh, you care about this person so much uh, that even when they do things that are contrary or even contrary to the word, uh, oftentimes 
uh, people because your heart is a certain way. You overlook those things, uh, which is uh, which is a wrong, which is wrong. And uh, but you, you should always uh, 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 govern everything and always uh, keep yourself in check with the word. Never get get caught up into things that are contrary to the word, because uh, just like in the natural, when someone robs a bank and say, for example, you're a friend and you might someone you might take them to to the bank. And they may not even let you know what they're doing, uh, but uh, they might tell you that they're going to pick up some money and we're going to go eat and do do this, you know, after I pick this money up. And, uh, and while you're in the car and then they get, they get out, the car, they get they go into the bank and they rob the bank and get it and jump in the car and y'all take off. Y'all go eat somewhere and whatnot. But then that person uh, get arrested. But then you get arrested, too, by association. Uh, so uh, which means that it's so important to be careful even who you associate with. Uh, in this day and time, because uh, people will um, will label you based on the people you hang out with. If you hang out with um, whoremongers, or if you hang out with people who are promiscuous, if you hang out with people uh, who are loud and rude uh, all the time, you have to be careful because people will label you uh, to be the same type of person. Because if you look even in the natural, uh, each species in this life, uh, animals, cattle, uh, 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 reptiles or whatever, they associate and they hang out with their own type, their own kind. And, and, and in like manner, people naturally so, they hang out with people who are just like them or uh, or still have similarities to them. So it's very important to um, govern yourself accordingly about the type of people that you associate with and that their type of lifestyle because you don't want their type of lifestyle to kill that light. You don't want their type of lifestyle to kill your testimony when someone is watching you uh, uh, and, 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 and watching your life concerning Christ, concerning uh, who you are, because, you know, you have to realize that people watching you. And at a certain point in time, people might approach you and say, man, what is it about you? You're always nice. You're always kind. You're always smiling. You never know what a smile, how, how far a smile might go you know, in a person's life. Because, you know, you know, it's 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 easy. It's easy to be mean. It's easy. Um, it, it's easy to uh, uh, to be ugly. It's easy to be nasty uh, because it's part of the Adamic nature. We're born in sin and shaped in iniquity. So, you know, you have to teach a child how to lie. A child is born lying. The Bible says that uh, the, uh, the, uh, as soon as the, that child is estranged for the child, the, the wicked, the wicked is evil. That the child is evil. That child has wicked ways. That child has, has has does things that are according to the fleshly uh, nature of man, and so you have to uh, teach that child to to do right. You have to teach that child to act right. You have to teach that child not to lie because it's a natural instinct for that child to lie, to do things naturally uh, that comes natural to him, and so uh, it's easy to do that. But the most difficult thing at time is to smile. The most difficult thing uh, uh, in this time is to be positive. Because if you look at this world and this world system, uh, you, you turn the TV on, it, 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 it's bad news. It's not just news, bad news. When you when you open up your, your newspaper or you go on the Internet, uh, there's always negative news. And in this world system, people gravitate to the things that are negative. You take uh, different celebrities, uh, TMZ, uh, uh, ESPN, and, and all those type of um, uh, venues that, that bring news. Oftentimes they, they, they highlight things that are negative. They highlight it. And, and if you just look at the media in itself, and if there's a player that uh, the media don't like, they'll paint a picture uh, uh, to the public that makes that person look a certain way negatively. When in, in, in actuality, that person might be a nice person. But it just so happened that the media has, a, has, has something out for them. So yeah, it, it's very important to, to, to be careful of who you associate with. And it's very uh, careful to uh, be careful and, and always let your light so shine and uh, and, and uh, just be careful of, of the people that uh, um, you talk to. Uh, be careful of the people that you walk with. Be careful of the, of the people that you entertain. Uh, always um, um, protect yourself. Always. Uh, the Bible also said that uh, don't cast your pearls before swine, which means that uh, people who are doing doing negative and bad things and uh, that are that are b b beneath uh, beneath what God has called you to, uh, be careful of associate with them in the sense of, of hanging out with them, especially if they don't want to change, 
because the thing about it, when you hang out with a person, one or two things are going to happen. Uh, either they're going to change you or you're going to change them. And that depends on your root, how rooted and deeply rooted you are in God. But, you know, let your light shine. Be careful. Uh, um, keep professing Christ and, 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 and keep spreading the good news and keep being an example of, the, of who, you, who you live for, uh, who you represent. I'll, I'll always be mindful of, of someone watching you and, and always be mindful of you have to give an account for you, what you do what you say in this life. That's why the Bible, Jesus tell, even told the disciples to be careful of how you hear because it's in how you hear that will determine how you respond because oftentimes people can respond wrong because they've heard wrong. Uh, so always be beware and, and be mindful and really listen. Uh, listen to God. Listen to the voice of God and also uh, listen to uh, uh, that spirit in you. Listen to that voice, that inner voice in you when there's danger around, when, when God is telling you not to, that voice is telling you not to do something, listen to it. Because oftentimes when, when that voice is right, and, and if you don't listen, if you just overlook and override uh, those warnings, then trouble uh, uh, lies at the camp. So God bless you. This is Prophet West. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm through with talking, uh, encouraging for that. I just want to pray. I, I just want to give you, I want to pray for you this particular morning. Uh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. We praise you and we, we bless your name. We thank you for all that you're doing in this time and in, in this life. God, allow us to be a light. Allow us to be an example, God. God, teach us. God, teach us to walk and talk this thing out. God, teach us to be a witness. God, teach us to be a voice in this day and time. God, God, teach us to, to, to operate and function in our purpose. And then that's to be a witness. That's to be an example. Uh, that's to be uh, consistent in this thing, to be consistent in, in, in our profession. God, teach us how to walk this thing out. God, teach us how to love. God, teach us how to approach people. God, teach us how to uh, draw people, not to run people away. God, teach us how to be humble because we know that in, in our humility is what draws people. In our humility, in our, in our, in our openness, in, in, in our transparency is what calls people to come to us, God. God, teach us, God, to be a light. God, teach us to be an example uh, for your cross. God, keep us to be a, a voice for your word, God, that souls might come in. And that the lost uh, uh, might uh, uh, come to you, God, and, and, and be saved in this day and time, God. We know there's this perilous times, God. Many are falling away for the, from the faith. Uh, many are, are having itching ears and going to and fro and not and ever learning, but never coming into the knowledge of the truth, God. God, teach God, put that anchor in us. God, put that anchor in our soul that we might be blessed, God, that we might come into the knowledge of the truth, that we might magnify your name, that we might uplift you. In Jesus' name, God, bless us everywhere, God. God, bring us together like never before. God, help us, God, and we'll be helped. Keep us and we'll be kept. God, we thank you and we praise you and we bless you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.